Hey, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you the quickest way to swap faces and seamlessly blend their skin tones together. You can choose to combine either face to either head. Open two high resolution, similarly sized photos of faces that are facing forward and are well lit. I downloaded these from Shutterstock. Before we begin, if you want to know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, some mash that subscribe button and please remember to click like if you like this video. The first step is to adjust their general color and tonal range. To do this, click the adjustment layer icon and click curves. Click auto which applies automatic color correction. We'll make a composite snapshot of our image by pressing Ctrl Alt Shift E on Windows or Command Option Shift E on a Mac. If you want this photo to be the base to which the face of the other photo will be transplanted onto, make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Open your other photo, click the adjustment layer icon, and again click Curves and Auto. Then make a composite snapshot. We'll use the face of this photo to be placed onto the other head. Open your lasso tool and draw around the eyes, nose, and mouth. We'll cut and copy the inside of the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command J. We'll place the cutout face onto the other photo by pressing V to open our move tool and dragging it onto the tab of the other photo. Without releasing our mouse or pen, drag it down and release. To see the face of the other photo under it, reduce the opacity of the top layer. To resize it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner. If you're using CC 2019 or later, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it in or out. On earlier versions, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it. Position it so the eyes line up. Then press Enter or Return, or click the check mark at the top. Increase its opacity back to 100%. Control or Command click the cutout face to select its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. I'll contract it 20 pixels, but feel free to adjust the amount based on your photo's size and resolution. Type in an amount that contracts it approximately this much. Make the photo under the cutout face active and press the Delete key to delete the area of the face inside the selection. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Shift click the top layer to make it active as well and go to Edit and Auto Blend Layers. Tick Stack Images since the two layers we're merging are aligned and stacked on top of each other in the Layers panel. Check Seamless Tones and Colors as well as Content Aware Fill Transparent Areas. If you see this message, just click OK. Auto Blend applied layer masks to both layers to mask out over or underexposed areas. Lastly, we'll finesse our image's tones, contrast, and color to blend the face and head even more. Hide the two layers below the merged layer and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the merged layer. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Pick a soft round brush. We'll adjust its size in a moment. The hardness is 0% and the opacity and flow are 100%. To make your brush bigger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. I'll brush over this area to reveal the shadow just to the left of the hair. I'll restore back the hair by pressing X on my keyboard to invert my foreground and background colors. Then I'll carefully brush over the hair. I'll gradually reveal back some of the skin of the original face by reducing the brush's opacity and brushing over the edge of the transplanted face. To lighten its midtones, make the top layer active and open your Dodge tool. 
The dodge and burn tools lighten and darken your image respectively. The more you paint over an area with the dodge or burn tool, the lighter or darker it becomes. At the top, pick Midtones and reduce the exposure to approximately 20%. Adjust the brush's size and brush over areas of the face you'd like to lighten. If some areas have a bit too much color, open the Sponge tool and at the top, pick Desaturate and make its flow approximately 10 to 15%. Brush over those areas that may have a bit too much color to desaturate them. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.